The X-35A first flew on 24 October 2000 and conducted flight tests for subsonic and supersonic flying qualities, handling, range, and maneuverability performance. After 28 flights the aircraft was converted to the X-35B for STOVL testing, with major changes including the addition of SDLF-3 bearing swivel module, 3 BSM, and roll control ducts. The X-35B would successfully demonstrate the SDLF system by performing a stable hover, vertical landing, and short takeoff in less than 500 feet, 150 meters. The X-35C first flew on 16 December 2000 and conducted carrier landing practice tests. On October 26, 2001, Lockheed Martin was declared the winner and awarded the System Development and Demonstration SDD, contract. Pratt & Whitney separately secured the development contract for the F-135 engine for the JSF, naming the F-35, which was out of order with standard DOD numbering, allegedly determined on the spot by program manager Major General Mike Hawk. This was a surprise even to Lockheed Martin, who had been expecting the F-24 designation for the JSF. Lockheed Martin has suggested that the F-35 could replace the USAF's F-15CD aircraft in the air superiority role and the F-15E Strike Eagle, in the ground attack role. The company also stated that the F-35 is intended to have the second best near and long-range air-to-air -air capability, after the F-22 Raptor, and that the F-35 has advantages over the F-22 in basing flexibility and having advanced sensor and information aggregation capabilities. Testifying before the House Appropriations Committee on March 25, 2009, the deputy acquisition for the Assistant Secretary of the Air Force, Lt. Mark D. Shackelford, stated that the F-35 was designed to be America's premier surface-to-air missile killer, and is uniquely equipped for this mission, with advanced processing power, synthetic aperture radar integration techniques, and advanced target recognition. A U.S. Navy study found that the F-35 would cost 30 to 40 percent more to maintain than current fighter jets not accounting for inflation during the F-35's operating life. A Pentagon study concluded $1 trillion in maintenance costs would be needed for the entire fleet over its lifespan, not accounting for inflation. The F-35 program office found that in January 2014, the cost to the F-35 fleet over its 53-year life cycle was $857 billion. As costs for these fighters have fallen and accounted for a 22% life cycle, Lockheed stated that by 2019, prices for fifth generation aircraft will be less than fourth generation fighters. The F 35A in 2019 is expected to cost $85 with engines and full mission systems, inflation adjusted to $75 million in December 2013. The Joint Strike Fighter program was established to replace the old fighter, with relatively small development, production, and operating costs. This was achieved by creating a fighter with three variants, each of which had 80% similarity. The three variants are F-35A, a conventional takeoff and landing, CTOL, aircraft that will replace the United States Air Force's F-16 Fighting Falcon starting in 2011, F-35B, a short takeoff and vertical landing, STOVL, aircraft that will replace the AV-8 Harrier II and F-A-18 Hornet of the United States Marine Corps and Italian Navy and the United Kingdom's Harrier GR-7GR-9 starting in 2012, the F-35C, a carrier aircraft that will replace the U.S. Navy's F-A-18 Hornet, ABCD variants only, starting in 2012.